Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry, Papa. Don't you want Mo's party to be a success? I would love for Mo's party to be a success. I would love for Mo's party to be a Mo's. Mo's house is being sprayed for hymenopter formicity. Go. That would be ants, specifically bulldog ants. A meat-eating ant from Australia. How did ants from Australia get into the Tibbs house? Do you really want to know? Probably not. Mail order meat. <laughs> I'll step up. How come Floyd keeps a wastebasket near the front porch? He dumps junk mail right into it. Isn't that something? You can make money off of that. <laughs> Mark, are you sure you're not disappointed we gave away your surprise party? You really didn't mean to. I know you didn't, Mom, but helpful hint. Next time, don't have the guest RSVP on our answer machine. <laughs> He's right. The boy's right, girl, me. But don't worry. I got my surprise look all worked out. Don't think I fell for it. Hey, Pop, did you see Mr. Henderson's boot scraper? Hey, he looks like a porcupine. Isn't that something? You know they ought to make one of those so it looks like Don King's hair? <laughs> you can make money off of that. <laughs> Hello, Brother May. Hello, Delroy. Hey, Mo. How's the birthday boy? Well, Mark's isn't quite ready to go out to dinner with you yet, so why don't you come on into my house? <laughs> Someone told. So fake. Mm, flowers on this cake were kind of dry. That's because they're wax. <laughs> I'm gonna get a fresca. <laughs> well, why do we have to tell Mo tonight? You say that every year. Every year we say we're gonna tell him on his next birthday. This is his next birthday. I'm just not sure he's ready for this. Well, I am. He's old enough to know. And when we get home, we're gonna tell Mo he's adopted. I'm adopted? Adopted? Hey, Mr. Henderson. Mo, what you doing lurking in my garage? Can't bring myself to go home. So I thought I'd arrange your stuff for you. What are you looking for there? Nails. You avoiding your parents? Box nails or finishing nails? Finishing nails. Do they even know you're here? Your finishing nails are in this drawer. I arranged them by size. Your carpentry nails are on this shelf, but you're running low on 16 penny sinkers, and you also have a spider's nest, and a couple of them, actually. Look, I'll clean it up for if you let me stay in your garage. Look, Mo, I know how you must be feeling. Really? Were you adopted? Hey, make yourself comfortable. Cool. Hey, Mo, there you are. Yo, what's up, man? How come you run that school today? You all right? Not knowing who my real parents are, it's got me tripping. I used to know who I was, and now I'm just not sure about anything anymore. So, let's find your parents. We can do that? Man, yeah, sure we can do that. How do we do that? We use the internet. There's more on it than that Pippi Longstocking website. <laughs> hey, that, that was an accident. I was searching for the Scotty Pippin website. <laughs> all right, look. All I need to know is what hospital you were born at. Hey, man. Pippi Longstock and have some fascinating adventures. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right, let's start with the name of the adoption agency. Luna Hill Child Placement. I was born at Walter Reed Hospital and listed as Baby Boy X. At least that's what Mr. and Mrs. Tibbs told me if they weren't lying about that, too. Come on, Mo. Listen, I know you're upset, but do you have to be that angry at your parents? They're not my parents. They lied to me for 17 years. Because of them, I don't know who I am. I could have brothers I don't know about. I could have sisters. But I'm knowing I could have dated one of my own sisters. I could have made out with my own sister. Uh, <laughs> you might be overreacting a bit. Am I? How do you think you'd feel if you were adopted? I feel like my life suddenly made much more sense. <laughs> there it is. The hospitalist won Baby Boy X for your birth date. Oh, shoot. But the birth mother's name is confidential. Man, I tell you, the system stinks. I could go down to the adoption agency and access their restricted files. But why don't we? Because it's illegal. You're right. That's why we need a diversion. 